I hate to do a negative review, but I feel like this is a really honest review. I've given it a long time to try, and so I just feel like it's fair to give it its full review. Well, this is the Tarte Tubing Mascara. It's the extra large version, and it's just not for me. I feel like this video is just going to be chaotic because all I want to do is talk to you about this mascara, and I'm just going to have my feathered friends all over me. Okay, we've lost them for now. They're back. So I really, really wanted to like this mascara. I wanted to try this mascara. I actually think I even got a sample of it before, like decades ago, not decades, but a while ago. And so I wanted to try mascara. I saw that Elise Myers did a review on a tubing mascara that was on Amazon. And so I thought, you know what, perfect. Because she said that she has dry eyes and that as a contact wearer, that this would be a better mascara for her. So it just so happened that as I was Googling tubing mascara and I was comparing the Amazon brand, I also saw that Tarte was doing a sale. And so I think this, this big tube here only ended up being like $12 or $17, which is pretty close to what I'd be paying for the CoverGirl mascara that I usually like anyway. But like I said, I really wanted to try this because the tubing mascara is not only supposed to lengthen your lashes, but it's supposed to cause less irritation because you're supposed to be able to just wash it with water and basically pull them off um, instead of like smearing them. And that is one complaint I have with mascara is I feel like as a contact lens wearer who has a little bit of a dry eye, I err on the side of the mascara irritating me. So I thought this would be a great hit, but unfortunately, it was not. Here are a couple issues I had with this mascara. One, I will show you. So it's this style of brush. And I have found that I tend to like more of a less plasticky brush and more of the bristle brush. I feel like for my lashes, it helps to separate and lengthen better. I feel like when it's kind of this plastic condensed brush that it's more likely to clump. That is my second complaint with this lash, um, with this mascara, is I feel that it really clumps my lashes. I'm gonna show you an example today. It wasn't super bad, but this is me wearing it today. My makeup's like half off. It's not what I would normally do, but just so you can see, there is clumping. And it especially starts to clump at the very tips of the lashes. I've gotten this very like crusty, crumbly kind of look at the edges. All that to say, I think this is a really high maintenance mascara and that's just not what I'm looking for. And the third issue is the full reason why I wanted this mascara was to create less of an irritation for my eye, less of a dry eye. I feel like it is in the complete opposite. I feel like it does flake off. I feel like I have irritation in my eyes sometimes. I feel like whenever it is a little bit more clumpy, it's more likely to fall off and then I've got it in my eyes. And when it comes to the wash off, I do not think it's any better. Like I think that when I'm taking it off, there's like clumps and clumps and clumps and sometimes little pieces get left behind. Like you really have to get in the lash to really make sure you're getting it. Like it almost builds up. And so overall, I do not recommend this tubing mascara from Tarte. I like Tarte, I really wanted to like this, but for all those reasons, I do not recommend it.